Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 19 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we have four numbers that are proportional. In other words, the ratio of A to B is equal to the ratio of C to D. And if we multiply the first and the fourth, it will be equal to the same number as it if we had multiplied the second to the third. So to repeat, if the ratio of A to B is equal to C to D, then A times D will be equal to B times C. And also the inverse. If A times D is equal to B times C, then the ratio of A to B is equal to the ratio of C to D. And for those of you who might remember this as the cross product rule, I've written it out as fractions. So if the fraction of A to B is equal to the fraction of C to D, then A times D is equal to C times B, and of course the inverse. So let's begin our proof. Again, we start off with A, B, C, D are proportional. We construct two numbers, E and F, such that E is equal to A times D and F is equal to B times C. And we construct yet another number, g, which is equal to a times c. Now if we look at e and g, they are equal to a times d and a times c, respectively, which means that the ratio g to e is equal to the ratio of c to d, and that's according to Proposition 17 of this book. Now since g e is equal to c d and a B is equal to C to D. That means that GE is equal to A to B. So the ratio of T to E is equal to the ratio of A to B. Now let's look at the numbers F and G. F is equal to B times C. G is equal to A times C. So therefore the ratio of G to F is equal to the ratio of A to B. So we have the ratio of G to F is equal to the ratio of A to B. Since the ratios of g to e is equal to a, b, and g, f is equal to a, b, then the ratio of g to e is equal to the ratio of g to f, Proposition 11 of Book 5. So we have that these two ratios are equal. And finally, if the ratio of g to e is equal to the ratio of g to f, then e must equal f. Again, Proposition 9 of Book 5. So we have demonstrated that when we started with four numbers that were proportional, we have shown that a times d, which is equal to e, and b times c, which is equal to f, are equal. So now we have to do the inverse, where we start off that we have four numbers, where a times d is equal to b times c. And we want to demonstrate that these numbers are in proportion to each other. So again, we have that E is equal to A times D, F is equal to B times C, and E is equal to F. This is our starting proposition. So let's take another number where G is equal to A times C, just like before. Now since E is equal to F, then the ratio of G to E will be equal to G to F. Now since E is equal to A times D, and g is equal to a times c, then again g to e is equal to the same ratio as c to d. So we have g to e is equal to the ratio of c to d. And likewise, g to f, since f is equal to b times c and g is equal to a times c, will be equal to the ratio g to f will be equal to the ratio of a to b. So we have that G, the ratio of G to E is equal to CD, and we have the ratio of the G to F is equal to AB. And since E and F are equal, according to Proposition 11 of Book 5, E and F are equal, E and F are equal, then the ratio of C to D is equal to the ratio of A to B. And thus we have shown if we started off with A times D is equal to B times C, that means that the ratio of A to B is equal to the ratio of C to D. And that finishes this proposition.